Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge mini pendant called the Cuff. This is the 187300. Three sizes in this. Um, I'm going to be showing you the glass from the medium size, I believe. So just remember, this is a little bigger than the one that's on the one we're talking about. However, I wanted to show you how beautiful the glass is. So, hand, hand blown, very thick piece of glass. I mean, just check out the, the the base of this. It's really, really gorgeous. It's, it, you know, kind of reminds me of a, a cross between Simon Pierce and Steuben. It's just incredible stuff. Let's get into the size of this. This is actually from the bottom of the fixture, which is the bottom of the glass, to where the telescoping rods start, which is our friend here. 6.7 inches tall, 4 inches in diameter. It's going to be hanging from these telescoping rods, and if you're familiar with other videos I've done, Hubbardton has a patent on this whole telescoping rod system, little hex nut right here that's going to lock it into place with this little hex wrench when you got it, get it to where you want it to be. Make sure you don't cut your wires till you, where you, till you get it where you want it to be. It's also going to give you some adjustable ranges to play with. So remember, we're talking about from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture when we talk about overall height. So our short is going to be 28.5 to 37.2. Standard is 28.5 to 44.9. Long is 35.4 to 52. If you need this longer than the long or shorter than the short, just drop me a quick email. We do customs every day. It's very easy. Adds a little time, adds a little money, but um, and non-returnable. But like I said, it's one of the things I do here constantly. And, and uh, seriously, every single day we do customs. So no big deal. It's going to be hanging from this 5-inch diameter canopy that goes on your ceiling. It's going to go on your... Uh, for an instruction box has a bracket in the back that hangs that hangs onto that. A great way for you to see a lot of these parts. If you're on the page for this on our website, look over on the right hand side of your screen and just scroll down a little bit. There's a link down there. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. Click on that for me. That page or papers are the same ones that are going to be in the box for this, the installations instructions. What's great is they show you everything. They show you all the parts. They show you how things go together. Really get you familiar with the fixture. Shows you this five inch round canopy that goes on your ceiling. Shows you uh, the glass, um, the sockets, all those good things. Also, um, this is slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees. So you'll see there's a knuckle that's built at the top of this right, if I can show it to you, right here, right in that little part right there. So it's gonna allow this to bend just like that, just like your finger can bend and it's going to let, make it automatically slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees so you're all set there and you know if you have it like this it hangs straight so either way you're going to be okay so let's talk about what's inside of this Hubberton Forge calls this a halogen fixture but that's a little misleading because it was designed before there were a lot of halogen I'm sorry LEDs available for um, this socket using a G9 socket it's actually going to ship with where is it was here a minute ago. Oh, here it is. Okay. It's going to ship with a 60 watt halogen bulb. So it is going to ship with a halogen. I recommend you guys do use the halogen to begin with as you kind of, you know, make your quest out into the world looking at LEDs. But just rest assured, technology has followed suit and there are lots of LEDs that can fit into this. So tons of them out there. And I get them on Amazon and 1001 bulbs, all kinds of places out on the web. So just remember that, you know, the longer bulbs like this guy, you know, are, may poke out the bottom of that cuff. So just kind of keep that in mind. Kind of bring it over here. So, you know, the, the lower it is, you have to remember you might end up seeing the bulb. However, like I said, technology is really racing forward with these bulbs, so they're going to get better and better and better. And there are smaller, more squat ones like this guy. And that one won't, uh, well, depends on how, where the socket is in this. I think it's kind of up here. It won't necessarily do that. But you just, it's, just, it's like a trial and error thing that you're going to do on Amazon or, or any of the internet sites that sell these light bulbs. It's just a G9. There's nothing magical about it. Um, but, like I said, it's going to come with this halogen to begin with, so you might as well just use it. It's a dimmable fixture. It dims beautifully. And then, you know, just rest assured there's a ton of LEDs that you can use too. Okay, so moving on from there, let's talk about finish. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, over on the left-hand side of the screen in those red tabs, you're going to see a finishes help guide. It's going to be a video at the top of that. It's me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes, especially translucent finishes that can show on heavy forging. And down below is a chart. 
that chart is going to have 10 finishes on it. Some have the pictures with the letter A, some have pictures with letter B on them, talked about in that video. So watch that video, come back down to that chart, and you'll kind of understand. Not a lot of heavy forging on this fixture just because of the way it's made. So it's going to be more uniform like the pictures uh, with the letter B on them for boy. When you're done, go back to that chart. You can click on any of those uh, pictures and a bigger picture will pop up with more samples of whatever you were just looking at. So you want to see more pictures of dark smoke, boom, click on that, you know, and then so on and so on and so on. So uh, I think that kind of covers, covers pretty much everything. We have the medium version of this on our showroom floor. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors of our Vermont showroom. Showroom's open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And um, <clears throat> you can email us at sales at handmadeinvermont.com or call 802-446-2400 and I'll be here. Uh, we also have a clearance center and clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an awesome deal. You have to come here to use the sh that clearance center. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. When you order your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No other dealer does that. Some big things, usually things on pallets, do not come back. We'll always tell you about that ahead of time. And then in addition to that, uh, Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks in production. They don't stock anything. No dealer stocks anything. That's how you get all your finishes, <clears throat> stem ranges to choose from. All those little details. Uh, we can cut that time in half. So if you guys need these things faster, there's a rush program. It's per line item and it's very inexpensive. So if you have the same fixture and you're doing three identical ones, it's dirt cheap. So just uh, email me or call me about that. Sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont or 802-446-2400 and I'll be here. So that's kind of wrapping things up. If you have any questions, let me know and thanks for stopping in today. Bye-bye.